Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. I'm going to show you how to create an email signature for your desktop or laptop computer using OS X and how to use that same signature on your iOS device as well. So this is going to be a multi-part tutorial. I'll leave the chapter markers in the description box below if you want to fast forward to any of the particular chapters that we're going to be going through. In this first section of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an email signature similar to the one that you're seeing on screen using Mac Mail. To get started, click on the Mail application on your desktop computer. Click on the Mail menu on the top left-hand corner and then click on Preferences. And then click on any of the accounts in the left-hand column that you'd like to modify. So I have an email account set up here for Touch Technology Review, and I've already got an email signature in there, but I'm gonna create a second one so that I can show you how to create it yourself. So to create an email signature in the account in the second column, click on the plus button. And if you just want a text-based signature, all you need to do is to type in the details in the column on the right-hand side. If you'd like to add your logo to the signature, you can just grab your logo from your desktop and drag it into the window. And there it is, a very basic signature with your typography and company logo. Now, if you want a more sophisticated email signature, which allows you to have more than one graphic element in a particular layout style, and also include hyperlinks on each of those graphics and on the typography, then you're going to need to create that as a HTML file. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of insight into the process for doing that, so that if you wanna create a more complex signature, you're going to be able to do it. And we're gonna do that using a program called Atom, which is freely available. It's a HTML editor that allows you to create HTML code. So once you download Atom, and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below, you can go in and create a HTML layout for your email. I'll open up the file that I created for my full email signature for Touch Technology Review. And as you can see, it comprises of HTML code, which is using the old table formatting which tends to be more robust and compatible on all devices without breaking apart. You can use divs and CSS, but that can be prone to errors and compatibility issues across different platforms and devices. So whatever your preference is for coding, you just enter your code in the Atom editor. And as you can see, we have image references here. And the idea is to insert your images as absolute links to the location of those files on your web hosting server. So my website is touchtechnologyreview.com. I created a folder called HTML email. I placed all of the images that I'd like to appear in the email signature into that folder so that when I send my email, the images don't appear as attachments. They're actually referenced images that are residing on my hosting server. And you can also see to the left of the image source code, I've got image links. So each one of those graphic elements can contain a specific link to my website and each social media platform that I'm using for the brand. So there's a lot of advantages in going to the trouble to create a proper HTML email, but certainly it is gonna take a little bit of effort and it's really up to you how far you wanna go with this signature. Now, if you have decided to go down this track of creating a HTML email signature, the next thing you have to do is to get this code into Mac Mail, and it isn't as easy as copying and pasting it into the signature window, unfortunately. So the first thing we need to do to get this HTML email signature into Mac Mail is to click on the mail account in our preferences and then click on the plus button to create a new signature. By default, this one has been given a title of signature five. I'm gonna call this HTML email signature and the default text can remain in the right-hand window for now as it's going to be replaced by our HTML code shortly. So the next step is to go and find that signature file that was automatically created for us by OS X and go and replace that default text with our HTML code. So to do that, we're going to go to the Go menu item on the top menu of OS X and we're going to select Library. Now, if you can't see the Library menu item when you do this, 
hold down the option key at the same time as clicking on the go menu and that should reveal the library menu item for you otherwise you could select the go to folder and then type in tilde forward slash library and that will take you directly to your library folder from within the library folder scroll down and click on the mail folder Click on the V number folder. Mine happens to be V9. Yours might be different. Could be V1, 3, 5, 8. Irrespective of what that number is, click on the folder. Click into the mail data folder and then click into signatures. If you've already created a number of signatures, there's going to be a few options in here. So to find the one that we just created, just look over in the date modified column and that will show you the signature that you created today. So mine was just created a moment ago at 11.28 a.m. So I know that's the signature. And to modify that, all I need to do is to right click on it and open it with either Atom or the text edit application. So you can see a whole bunch of code in here. We're going to replace the code that starts with body with our HTML signature we created in Atom. So let's go and grab that code. And you can see my code starts with body and ends with body. I'm going to grab that. Command C to copy it. Command V to paste that into the mail signature. And we are now going to click on the cross button icon to save that file. I'll just open it up one more time to make sure that it's gone in. Yes, I can see that code's there. And in order for this to work in the mail signature on Mac Mail, we actually need to do one more thing. We need to convert this to a locked file. So to do that, we're gonna hit the Command and I key at the same time. And we're gonna bring up the Options panel for that file. And you'll see an option to lock the file. So we're going to click on that so that it's ticked. And we're gonna close that file down. And you can see that the lock has been applied to the file with that tiny icon on the bottom left-hand corner of the file. So now that we've done that, we need to close down Mac Mail, open it up again, click on Mail Preferences, click on the Mail account, click on the new signature you created, and you should see the content of that signature in the column on the right-hand side. Now, because it's using HTML images in this example, which are being loaded from a server, you can only see some faint outlines of those images in that box. We can't actually see all the graphics in this preview mode, but don't worry about that. When we go and test the signature out, you'll find that it will be showing up automatically. If you've got multiple signatures for each account, as I have here, you can choose which one appears by default when you compose a new email by clicking on the drop-down icon under Choose Signature, and that allows you to select your preferred layout for your default email signature. So to test this out, we're going to click on Compose New Email, and then in the Signature drop-down list, we're going to select the new signature we created. I called this one HTML email signature. And as you can see, it appears as our email signature. Okay, so now that we have our email signature set up on OS X, how do we use it on our iPhone? The easiest way is to email that signature that you just created on the OS X computer over to your iOS device. Of course, you're going to have to have an email account set up on your mobile phone already. If you need some help doing that, I've created a tutorial on how to set up your email account on iOS, and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So assuming that you've already set up your email and sent the signature across to your iPhone, navigate to it in the mail application, and then tap at the top left-hand corner or bottom right hand corner of the graphic element that you created and then swipe down so that you can copy all of the contents of that email. Tap on copy and then go into the settings of your application. Scroll down to mail, scroll down to signature and you can add a signature that will affect all of your accounts or if you have multiple email accounts set up, you can place that signature in each email account. There is your email signature 
almost ready to use. The one thing I didn't mention is that the email signature requires text in addition to images. So if you haven't copied across any text with that signature, make sure you include that as well. So I'm just gonna type my name into that signature field as well. Once completed, tap on the mail menu on the top left-hand corner of the screen, exit your settings, go into your mail application, tap on the new email icon on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And as you can see, your email signature now appears when you go to send your email. Just some final notes before we complete the tutorial. You don't actually have to create an email signature on OS X first. If you prefer, you can just send any image from your computer across to your iPhone or even download an image online on your iPhone and send it to yourself via email and you can use that in the signature in much the same way that I showed you earlier, where you can copy and paste the content of your email across to your mail settings. For example, I've just grabbed this JPEG image from my photo library on my Mac computer, emailed it to my phone, and all I have to do is select around the image, select copy, go into my settings, tap on mail, signature, and paste the image into that signature. And as a reminder, don't forget to add some text to that signature so that it actually shows up when you go to send your email. And on a final note, if you're having issues with doing any of this, or if you'd like another alternative to using images in your email signature on an iOS device, you can also use the universal clipboard feature, which is part of OS X and iOS if you have the more recent versions. And this basically allows you to copy and paste from your OS X desktop and paste directly into the email signature. For example, if I grab my email signature from my OS X email application, select edit and copy, go over to my iPhone, tap on settings, mail and signature, and then paste the email signature directly into the email signature field. If you haven't used universal clipboard copy and paste functionality before, all you need to do is enable it in your system preferences on your OS X computer, and you'll find that in the general section of your system preferences, down at the bottom, as you can see, there's an option to allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. So provided you have your Mac computer and your iOS device, signed into the same iCloud account, Universal Clipboard will work. To enable hands-off and Universal Clipboard on your mobile phone, tap on Settings, General, AirPlay and Hands-Off, and make sure the hands-off feature is turned on. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to put them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you're notified of up and coming video releases. Bye for now.